Hi guys, today we're talking about um, intermediate level mistakes or mistakes that can be made by intermediate level developers, which I um, define to be second year and third year students. So this is something that we see often in their coursework. And yeah, so these are the eight items that I'll briefly talk through and we'll see if these apply or don't apply to you. First is no refinement or iteration. When a project is written and when a particular problem is solved, students usually don't go back and refine their code, which means that all the um, sort of kind of dirty in quotes code that was written the first time stays there. And one of the reasons could be because they know the career works, so there is no need to go back and fix it. Um, but it's not the way to write maintainable code. So iterations are good, provided you have time. Item number two is having a build tool. Don't put everything under source and submit that to, um, well, where you're submitting it to, whether it's coursework or GitHub, <clears throat> and because people don't won't know how to build your work, even if it's just a bunch of files under source, still have a build tool that'll make it easier for everyone else to build your project. Item three is applying patterns everywhere and for everything. When we've talked about the patterns and how to use them, there will be two outcomes or two types of students. One, they won't get it and they won't use it. Um, which is almost like the better option. The second type is they'll start using it for literally everything. And which is also a bad thing because you're effectively what you're doing is transforming a problem to fit your solution rather than adapting the solution to fit your problem. Case or item four is classes or functions being too long or too short. Don't create monolithic projects where you put everything in one class. They should be separated by typically concerns or functionality. And don't create long functions. Uh, there isn't a particular um, kind of standard with respect to number um, lines of code or something. But 100 is probably max for a function, I would say. 40 to 50 is okay and 20 to 30 is what you're aiming at with classes maybe go for 500 to 600 that's including the license and the um, documentation for that class item five is using global or static variables to expose data if a class needs access to some data from a different class then have a look at the design of a project and see if you can kind of group classes that use the same data in a single package. Try to avoid static functions, variables, anything that's static because it's very difficult to test those things. And using global is pretty much always bad. So try to stay away from using that. Usually, um, this all of that can be fixed if your design um, is fixed. Item six is writing code immediately without the design. So it kind of is linked to every other item uh, I've talked about. Don't rush your project. Focus on having a good, clean design but don't spend too much time on it because design is supposed to be flexible, especially these days when requirements change quickly. So make sure you have at least a high level design um, that is functional because if you don't have a design that works, then your implementation is guaranteed to not work. Item seven is attempting to write everything from scratch. Uh, yeah, there exist libraries for pretty much everything nowadays. See if you can find one that covers your use case. If it doesn't cover it fully, 
then go with your own solution. If the library is too complex to understand quickly, go with your solution. Um, and in all other cases, uh, prefer use a, uh, of a library. Finally, uh, not reading documentation or source code of established libraries. For example, the standard JDK um, stuff, because sometimes we get questions like, how do I use this? And if you looked at the source code or documentation for that particular function or method, then especially in JDK, it would immediately tell you how to use it, or at least it will refer to website um, where you will find documentation. So these are very kind of general-ish um, second year slash third year uh, possible mistakes. Well, not really mistakes, but kind of things not to do. I don't know if this applies to you, because if you have a different background, um, it is possible that you have a different category of things that you do, and so you're probably maybe avoiding um, making these mistakes. In any case, um, see if I've missed anything and um, comment. Right. Also, don't forget about the poll. This is the current state of it. It seems that the next video is going to be on software design patterns. And um, once that video is released, this will, poll will be updated. So, so feel free to basically play around with it. And thanks for watching.